Season's best team in the West will be decided this Sunday when the Seattle Seawolves take on the Dallas Jackals in the Major League Rugby Western Conference Final. Tyra is on the plaza this morning with Seawolves players Cameron Orr and Joe Taufete. Uh, this is exciting and this team is talented, Tyra. <laughs> They are talented. Did you just see how fast they I caught sure those did. balls? Couldn't have been me, right? <laughs> I'm here with Jill and Cameron this morning. Good morning to you both, and thanks for joining us. Yeah, thank you for having us. Uh, special day. A little bit cold, but we're, we're here. It's a little bit cold, but it's all right. Okay, so you all launched as a team back in 2018. You're the only team in the league with two back-to-back -back championships. I mean, what is that feeling like, first and foremost? Uh, it's definitely a responsibility for us because... Uh, there's a great history in the club now, even such in a short space. So we love it. But uh, yeah, it just makes it more exciting. Uh, we love being part of it. Talk about what goes into growing a team and, and leading to that success. Well, it always starts from the top uh, down to the players. Uh, obviously, we got a good backing from the fans as well. You know, it's huge support. Every time we go to Starfire, it's always scary because, yeah. you know, you got a lot to prove, obviously, and uh, show the fans, you know, we can bring it home to them. And I know you've got a lot of fans. Uh, if you want to come, hey, we've got Olivia here, too. She's one of the reps here with the Seawolves. I, I want, we want her to jump in, too. This is, a, this is a collaborative effort. There's a lot of fans. You all have a lot of people that show up and contribute to the atmosphere at those games. Rugby, obviously, growing in popularity. Why do you think that is? And, and what makes the sport so special? And any of you can answer. Uh, it's, it's, it's exciting. Like, there's definitely a heavy level of contact. It's fun. But the camaraderie you get from all being in a big team environment playing all over america all over the world if you do that it's uh it's pretty special and those connections you make with your friends and mates all over the world it's uh it's pretty special and you cherish it for your whole life so yeah. very very uh great great sport to be a part of what would you say about the the whole organization and its growth over the past couple years i mean the mlr's done a fantastic job like they really got to work when the downtime in the COVID year and made a huge amount of advancements with the rugby network with apps and things like that so they're really working to improve you know the, everything from the outset to support all of our teams but another reason why i'll say rugby is so um, addictive and why people fall in love with it after the first time they come is the accessibility so these guys aren't just nice because they're on camera right now like they're like this all the time <laughs> and you know at the end of every match they actually come down and they thank the fans and they high five them and they sign autographs and they hug kids and they take photos and those sorts of things and it's that that our fans fall in love with that's really different to any other sort of professional major league sports is that accessibility to these guys what's that feeling like seeing a kid maybe holding a sign wearing your colors uh, rooting you on yeah, no that's amazing i mean especially me as a family man you know i get my kids to come uh, you know uh -huh. to the games and then after the games you want to hug them but also you get to see what kids they're playing with because you know we get all the kids on the field after the game and seeing them enjoy you know the family environment that we built at the sea wolves and then yeah. um yeah it's just you know it's why we love rugby so you have a match coming up against dallas what happens if you win that one and how are you how are you preparing for this next game uh, it's a massive game this weekend sunday one o'clock down at starfire uh dallas it, it's the opportunity to say we're the best on the west coast uh, but then the next opportunity after that is to take out the whole competition. So we don't want to get ahead of ourselves. It's a it's a massive, massive weekend this weekend, and Dallas are a great opposition. So you've got to be down there. It's going to be exciting rugby, and it's just a whole day filled with fun uh, festivities down there. So it's going to be excellent. Well, I think I want to see how exciting rugby is, and I think the people at home also want to. Do you all mind doing some sort of demonstration? Just you two for now, and then maybe after, maybe after you could teach me like like a drill or something? Yeah. Okay, well, uh, maybe... I'll, I'll just step out of the way and let you do your thing first. Uh, we'll start with Joey. Joey is actually a hooker. So he's a hooker in rugby, which is our number two. He's in the middle of the scrum. Um, so he actually has to throw the ball. Yeah. So if Joey goes over there, he's going to show you. When we when the ball goes out in a, in a game, we have to throw it back in through a line-out, and Joey has to be pinpoint. He's almost like a diamond carver. Has to be right, right on point. The jeweler, we call him at home. Um, and he's got to throw the ball. So if Joey goes over there, he's got to spin that ball perfectly to me. Imagine I'm going up and I've got to catch it, give it to my team. So that would be our line out. And you can watch Joey doing that perfectly on Sunday. Yeah. So it's, it's um, just a way to restart the game and, and get back into the action. So 
Yeah. Can I try? Of course yeah. you can. Okay. You might be able okay. To you can I pass you my that. mic, Olivia? We're a little bit okay. worried here. All right. So up there, if you spin the ball, you want it to go end on end, like almost like you're throwing the uh, the, the the quarterback pass all the way downfield. So two hands, and you want to throw it over the top. Nailed it. You're out of a job. Oh, <laughs> He's out of a job. <laughs> we'll get you it. a jersey. That's it. But and then they're going to be thrown in the air by two lifters. Yeah. Pretty special moment. I'm hired, everybody. I'll be there at the game against Dallas. Um, anything else you'd like to add? Any final messages? Yeah, there's a special performance at halftime. It's uh, Kelemi, if I'm pronouncing it right. Sorry, Uso. But uh, special halftime show, you know, he's one of the uh, up-and-coming uh, artists. So be out there, you know, and, and support. Awesome. Yeah, we can't wait to see you, uh, and we appreciate Seattle. Um, we, our, our little slogan at the moment is we're bound by blood, bound for glory. Wow. Uh, we hope you uh, embrace that and join us on our journey because uh, we want to go one step further than uh, this week after it. Well, good luck to the entire team. Thank you both for being here. It sounds like it's going to be a fun game with that great halftime show, too. Steve, how about that? How about that? Joe's out of a job <laughs> and you're in, Tyra. <laughs> Joe's out of a job and I'm in. That's right. I love it. I love it. Nice yeah. work, Brad. Thank